Oh my god. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good, good evening. evening. Good night. Selamat malam. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for those who are following uh, my page, uh, you know that uh, in this month of March, every Friday, I have this series of TGIF Chillax Friday uh, in, both, uh, in a mixed language of uh, Malay and English. And uh, I also um, invited two of these uh, beautiful mom. Um, uh, we, we have a, uh, uh, the reason why I have this series in this uh, month of March is because um, the International Women's Day fall on this month so that's the reason uh, why i invited uh, two of them uh, to join me in this uh, chillax friday all right uh, as i mentioned it's a mixed language of malay and english right so we will uh, just um we will speak two language all right so uh okay i will have a short introduction for myself first uh, my name is iris i'm originally from malaysia I'm already living here in Singapore for the past uh, 13 years. And I'm, uh, I'm uh, work as an engineer in my engineering industry for over 15 years now. So I have three lovely children, two boys and a girl. And yeah, that's a simple brief from myself. Now I pass the mic to Gwen. Hello, everybody. I'm Gwen, um, originally also from Malaysia. So Rasa dari Pulau Pinang. And sekarang menginap di Singapura selama lebih kurang 20 tahun. Um, seorang ibu uh, bagi tiga orang anak yang berusia 14, 7 dan 4 tahun. Um, over to you, Rima. Okay, hi. Saya Rima. So, uh, saya seorang shift worker. Uh, saya kerja full time shift worker. Uh, so, saya punya shift ada pagi, petang, malam. And then uh, as well, saya, saya daripada, uh, apa ni, daripada Singapura, okay, I was born here. And then saya uh, also seorang uh, ibu kepada seorang anak. Uh, my son is eight years old. And yeah, that's just a brief introduction of myself lah. So yeah. Okay. So for those who are following um, my post, right, for today, today our question, right, will be how do we manage our time and at the same time, we can run our own online digital business. All right. So for those who are following us, uh, the past few uh, last two weeks, uh, last two weeks, right? Um, the first question is uh, was, what is the challenge of a full time working mom? And last Friday, we will talk about how do we manage our stress. So for today, we will talk about how do we manage our time, and at the same time, we can run our own online digital business. So, uh, apa uh, saya pass kepada Rima dulu. Is it all right? Rima, let you start first. Okay. <laughs> Can. So, um, bagaimana how we manage our time at the same time uh, we can run our online digital business, right? So, yeah. uh, as just now uh, during that short brief of my uh, the introduction that I uh, that I shared earlier. Okay, um, I'm a shift worker, so saya kerja boleh dikatakan three rotating shift lah, right? Yeah. So it will be very very hectic, um, penat, and uh, I will I will say that I will I will I will consider myself as busy lah most of the time. Okay, but I try my best to have like at least one or two hours during that busy period. Uh, to spare time for the business. So, saya ensure kalau saya kerja pagi, uh, I won't be free uh, technically in the morning pasal saya kena kerja pukul tujuh pagi. Uh, so, saya will have that time for my uh, to, to do my business after work. Sometimes after work, uh, I cannot guarantee I can go home on time due to the nature of the job. But I try my best to have at least like I said, one or two hours. So, it can be at night. So at night also, being a mother also sometimes is uh, added responsibility, right? I have to like see, oversee my son's um, uh, schoolwork and stuff. Uh, so, and part of it also housework, right? So sometimes I will um, have to do it at night, okay? When, when everyone is asleep. 
it's it's that crucial. Uh, but you know, I managed to go through because I I've lived with it, and I think when when you think of uh, whatever reasons that you you are possible to uh, I mean the possibility to do it, you will be able to do it. So if I work in the afternoon. Uh, normally in the morning when everything is settled, you know, my husband's go to work, my son's at school. So there will be more ample time to concentrate on the business. And then if I do night shift, uh, normally if in my first night shift, um, I will have more time because my night shift starts at, at 8.30 uh, 8 in, in, in the evening. So in the morning itself or in the afternoon, I will, I will concentrate, on, concentrate on the business. Likewise, if it's my second night, then I will have like sleep, sleep first. And then I will pick up my son if it's the school days. If not, then um, before I go to work, uh, during that second night, then I will um, do. Uh, I will concentrate on the business. Uh. So it's like play around with the time. Uh, I don't have a fixed timing, but because of the flexibility of this business, it enables me that is working. You know, uh, I would say this three rotating uh, rotating shift make it possible uh, for this business. So yeah, I think uh, that is basically I will share my part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, think, I think the the key point, yeah. the key point that Rima emphasized here is, regardless how busy you are, if you want to have this online business right, you will surely try to find the pocket of available time that you have, right, Rima? The key mm, word here yep. is the consistency that you yeah. actually work on this every day, right? Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. macam mana pula dengan gue? <laughs> So seperti yang um, Aris katakan tadi, um, ramai di antara kita sentiasa menggunakan alasan yang masa tidak mencukupi ataupun hidup kita amat sibuk sehingga kan tiada masa untuk diri kita sendiri. Tetapi bagi saya, um, saya rasa hanya pemikiran um, apabila kita mendakwa bahawa kita mempunyai masa, kita akan mencari masa. Jadi sebagai seorang ibu dan uh, entrepreneur, saya boleh mengatakan bahawa se sama seperti Rima, saya akan ketepikan dalam satu hingga dua jam setiap hari untuk uh, untuk perniagaan ini dan yang amat penting sekali untuk saya adalah untuk memastikan saya masih ada waktu sosial untuk diri saya sendiri kerana saya amat menghargai waktu sosial itu. So uh, mungkin jangka masa 24 jam tu memang amat singkat tapi kalau kita men mengetepikan lebih kurang 15 minit ataupun 20 minit setiap uh, beberapa jam kita akan mencapai waktu selama 2 jam dalam sehari untuk menumpukan perhatian kita kepada uh, bisnes ini dan uh, setiap orang boleh membuat uh, bisnes ini kalau kita ada masa yang walaupun amat singkat yang pasti kalau keinginan itu ada kita akan pastikan yang kita boleh buat Hmm. Jadi uh, seperti uh, ramai lagi ibu-ibu yang menceburi bisnes ini ada sesetengah orang yang uh, mengedepikan waktu pada waktu malam ataupun pada waktu pagi ataupun bila anak-anak mereka di sekolah tetapi bagi saya kerana saya masih bekerja sepenuh masa saya akan mengedepikan waktu-waktu yang singkat dalam masa 15 hingga 20 minit setiap uh, beberapa jam uh, yang pasti semua orang boleh melakukan jadi ya. itu yang saya buat sekarang ni. <laughs> ya, bagi saya, saya sama dengan Gwen, kerja sepenuh masa. Kedua-dua kita kan pun ada tiga anak. A lot of people right mereka teng, uh, mereka mereka rasa ah tiga anak banyak kerja dah. Ya. Sebagi saya 24 jam memang semua orang ada. Sebab Tak ada orang bagi kamu lebih daripada 24 jam kan? Jadi bagi saya, macam mana kamu gunakan masa kan dengan um, yang bermanfaat? Uh, sebab bagi saya, uh, saya kerja sepenuh masa hari Isnin sampai Jumaat dari 9 hingga 5 ataupun 6. Jadi apakah masa yang saya ada? Jadi saya akan ada masa sama ada pagi before the work start ataupun afternoon during the lunch break ataupun evening. Evening tu boleh after kerja, I boleh buat six uh, before my dinner ataupun after mereka sudah sleep kan like, macam sekarang mereka sudah tidur. Jadi me time this is my me time. 
So what am I going to do with my me time? Of course, last time, I will used to maybe watch drama or do something to relax, which a lot of people might do the same. Tapi bagi saya, sebab saya rasa um, saya nak um, retire earlier ataupun saya nak another stream of income, not just depend on one stream of income. So what can you do with your extra hour? So, tapi saya masih cari business yang flexible, yang boleh um, fix into my schedule. Because if you want to do something, a lot of business you have to do it after work or even your weekend and need your present. So, kalau kamu nak cari sesuatu business yang boleh bagi kamu extra, extra stream of income, dan kamu boleh buat anytime, anyway, I think only internet and must be automated system. Kalau tak, memang tak jadi. <laughs> Saya tanya, adakah kamu sekarang keluar kerja? Maybe yes, sometimes yeah, but you are really trading your time for the money, right? But to me, I do want, I want to choose something that is work harder for me, work smarter than me. So this is the way that I can work on that it can free up my time. So yang paling penting ialah sesuatu business yang saya mencaburi kan, saya, um, I spend my time and effort to build it. Then when it's set up, it can actually work for me even during my sleep time. Correct tak? Betul tak? Betul. Especially Rima, because Rima is a shift worker. If you mm. want to do something, if not flexible, I don't think it suits to you. But I found that uh. um, uh, for this whole journey, I really can understand that why this business can work for everybody. Right, Rima and Gwen? Kamu yep, yep. agree tak? Studio. Yeah. Seratus Yeah. Rima. But, um, The, the initial parts uh, sebelum saya uh, fikir untuk uh, join business ni is uh, saya uh, I make a survey first uh, whether this business can fit my hectic schedule or not. Then when, when I get to know about the flexibility of the time, that is why. But that is the reason why, the main reason why I uh, I join in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it will be one bit more to juggle with my uh, time and um, all my, um, all my, uh, I would say, uh, I have not ample time lah to do additional thing. But uh, with the the proven system and of course the flexibility of time, I I I told myself that this is the ideal one for me lah. Yeah. Yeah. How about Gwen? Ya, yeah, memang you know sebelum saya menceburi bidang ini saya pun membuat uh, homework uh, rujuk kembali apa yang uh, bisnes ini ataupun ma- masa yang kita harus uh, ketepikan untuk melanjutkan bisnes ni. Tapi saya dapat tahu yang uh, waktu itu amat fleksibel dan hmm. walaupun hanya dua jam sehari kepada ramai orang dua jam itu amat lama tetapi hmm. dua jam tu boleh di uh, you know broken up into berapa-berapa section dalam sehari dan amat fleksibel sekali itu yang paling menarik bagi saya dalam bidang ini dan kita dapat tentukan bila kita nak uh, concentrate waktu uh, mungkin pada ada setengah hari yang kita tak ada masa langsung uh, mungkin kita tak akan tumpukan perhatian kepada bisnes ini dan mungkin pada setengah hari yang kita memperolehi lebih masa, uh, kita akan spend a little bit more time uh, daripada hari-hari yang lain. Jadi sebagai business owner, kita dapat uh, tentukan berapa lama yang kita ingin uh, you know spend time on the business on a day-to-day basis, I feel. Yeah. To me, my point here is um, I'm actually uh, as an employee for my whole life. So I've never been an entrepreneur. So to my mind is to be an entrepreneur, right? Capital. Saya tak ada banyak duit untuk uh, start up one business. Saya tak, I don't want to risk myself to actually loan from bank, right? So saya tahu kalau kamu nak start satu business, memang kamu kena um, invest lah, a lot of capital on it. So lagi satu yang saya um, menarik perhatian saya ialah this online business 
it, it requires startup capital, but it is not that much as compared to traditional business and don't have so many overhead. Correct? Yeah. So how so about two of you? Hmm. Ya, yeah, saya rasa Iris, uh, setiap bisnes yang kita ingin menceburi pasti ada kapital yang kita hmm. harus uh, keluarkan. Seperti kalau kita ingin membuka kedai 7-Eleven ataupun franchise 7-Eleven ataupun sebuah kedai makan. Mungkin kalau kita ingin kedai makan yang kecil, kapital kita... Cafe kan? I think a lot of dream on a cafe, yeah. right? Hmm. Then kalau kita ingin um, mungkin cafe yang boleh uh, accommodate about 100 people, kapital kita mungkin lebih besar. Jadi tak tentu kan kapital kita berapa banyak. Uh, so it's really up to us berapa banyak yang kita nak uh, invest untuk memulakan bisnes ini. Dan hmm. yeah. dan lagi satu, kalau katakan nak take example as a cafe. So cafe kamu buka tak boleh 24 jam kan? Kamu punya operating hour the most maybe 10 to 12 hours a day. Betul tak? Ah, uh, dan lagi pun, ah, uh, because of this COVID, then you have a restriction of the number of capacity in your cafe. So a lot of this ah uh, already limit kamu punya earning lah. Katakan before that, you maybe can earn a lot, but again, as I mentioned, you have a restriction of this operating hour. So what I like about this business is twenty four hours, seven days, and three hundred sixty five days a year. So memang ah. Uh, to me, I can see the potential and limitness lah. Rima, how about you? I think um, first first thing yang saya suka about the business is um, of course, it can, um, I, I can do this despite my hectic schedule. Uh, of course, um, yang bubur pasal um, traditional business, if you want to compare uh, how much I need to uh, for out to start out our business, it can be a lump sum, but for this case, um, I I I would say that uh, it's much more lower than uh, the, the the cost that you need to uh, fork out for a traditional business lah. So um, that is the reason why also I uh, took up. Um, I uh, in fact I I join in because there's there's a lot of uh, I would say things that. Um, I, I wouldn't think possible for a business, but this is the business that um, I, I is an eye opener that oh actually this is, exists you know and in fact that it has been it has been um, I think it has been five years right yeah yes. this business has been um, is out there <laughs> yeah and yeah. I, I didn't know about it until I uh, saw it on a social media post. So yeah, it's very very interesting uh, If you yeah. you uh, were to uh, see the uh, the good side of it, yeah. Yes, and our community also grow very fast. In a week, it just grow five hundred to seven hundred people in in, yeah. in in our community. So the number just keep growing. Mm. All right. So without further ado, I knew uh, now it's a time um quite late now. So. Yeah. Kalau sesiapa kamu uh, rasa ingin tahu, curious, wanted to know more about this business, mm. I welcome you all. You can either connect with me, Iris, or Gwen, or Rima. Our website are uh, stated in, in the banner here. So uh, if you are keen want to know more, you just have to register your name and your email to our website. And then you will receive a personal link to your mailbox and you can click to that email and we will register for the for our upcoming webinar all right? all right so the webinar is only a 90 minutes it will be a big picture to tell you what is this business about all right mm -hmm. so yeah i think that's all uh, from all of us here tonight so before we um or uh, before we uh go off um when you have anything to add on and remark um, I think my last words to everybody is kepada sesiapa yang ingin menceburi bisnes sendiri uh, walaupun bisnes luaran ataupun pen, perniagaan dalam talian yang penting adalah motivasi diri kita sendiri. Kalau kita ada self-motivation, uh, kita ada drive itu kita akan dapat uh, mencapai apa yang kita tetapi kerana it's all about yourself. 
Kalau kita hmm. ragu-ragu dan kemungkinan besar kita tidak akan berjaya dalam apa-apa bisnes yang kita ceburi. Kalau kita hmm. buka kedai ataupun apa-apa bisnes um, 100% is what is needed from each individual to be able to yes. accomplish it. Jadi yeah. uh, sebelum anda membuat keputusan uh, pastikan anda fikirkan dahulu kalau hmm. anda boleh uh, you know concentrate ataupun memberi masa sepanjang satu hingga dua jam setiap hari untuk uh, membina bisnes ini kerana walaupun sistem ini berjalan secara otomatik tapi kita masih harus berjuang. Kalau kita tidak berjuang tak ada apa-apa yang akan uh, datang secara percuma. Jadi yeah. sedikit masa itu akan membawa anda jauh tetapi anda akan kena, kena membuat step yang pertama untuk uh, menceburi bidang ini. Mm. Yes. Rima? I think I just add on a few uh, <laughs> more pointers lah from what Gwen has uh, uh, has shared just now. Uh, I just say that uh, yeah, no doubt that um, sometimes the initial part is you want to start off something, but you know in the process of you already starting um, the the business journey, sometimes it can have some laps and you will feel like oh. Uh, is this the right one for me, you know? But like like uh, what Gwen and uh, Iris has um, mentioned, um, sometimes it, it is what um, the, the 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 main reason is your in it, your intention of why you want to start it, and you just tell yourself that um, uh, you just go through whatever phase um, that you need to go through. Um, be it a struggle at first, but you just tell yourself that. Um, in everything that you venture on, um, if it's a struggle, then you learn from it. But you uh, try your best to, you know, go um, through the process, and uh, it is the the momentum that uh, you you need to tell yourself that you you have to have it in you because no one else will like you know push you forward. You you just have to uh, you have to lead yourself towards success. Uh, I mean. Yeah, it's it's a it's a very difficult journey. Just saying saying itself is sometimes it's easier than doing, but uh, this is just one or two uh, words from us who already step into the entrepreneurship uh, journey. Yeah, so yeah, yeah please your yeah. turn. Yeah, my last point is about this. This journey is very very fulfilling. It's not just for you to actually st- um learn uh, something new skill to me it's a personal growth so not just a business it actually um uh, let you to actually learn the leadership uh how to how to um to me it's all about personal development uh. and then you learn a, no, a new social media marketing skill and then at the same time you get to know a lot of people globally around the world uh, to me, this automatic system is already help out those heavy lifted um, things at the background. So that's why this is so easy to start up for anyone who are not tech savvy at all. Because if you know me, you're following me, you are, I'm uh, actually emphasized from the beginning, I'm not an active person in the social media. So I know nothing about social media. But when we come to this business, the attraction point to me is again, you don't need to know everything, but here there are so many easy step by step videos to teach you from zero. So I can see a lot of people here, even those that are retiring, not even really use computer before, they can do it. So why can't we why can't I? Correct? So as long as you have the determination you want to change and you're willing to learn. And firstly, you need to spend your time and effort into this business because this business is yours. You're willing to build it. I can guarantee you, we are all here are willing to support you, to help you grow. But the thing is, you you need to have that, that determination to, to learn it and coachable, right? So, yeah. So, before we end, let us uh, look at the comment. Hi Sheila. Sheila is a uh, um for Hong Kong uh live in uh, UK. Hi Sheila, thanks for joining us. And hi Josephine. 
And hi, Maki. Hi, Phoebe. Mm. Hi, Maybelline. Yeah. Thanks for replying, Gwen. <laughs> yeah, I think um, that's all from all of us here tonight. So remember to catch us live again next Friday. Okay, until here, we, I wish you all, every one of you, good night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. bye.